as you know, we're, we're moving forward on uh, reaching a, an agreement on a bipartisan basis to fund the government. Uh, hopefully we'll reach that agreement uh, sometime in the next couple of days. I'm in favor of a permanent fix on minors' health care. It's my hope that that will be included in the final package. I don't want to talk, start talking about a short-term CR on a Tuesday. Uh, we're hoping to reach an agreement in the next few days on how to process the entire bill through September 30th. And I don't want to speculate about whether that can actually clear this week, but uh, we're, we're working on a permanent agreement through September 30th. Now, last night we received a bit of good news, not just for Democrats, but for the country, that the President is easing off his demands for a border wall in the government funding bill. Now, we Democrats have been opposed to including the wall in this bill since the beginning of the negotiations. There's no plan to make Mexico pay for it, as the President promised it would. There's no plan to resolve the eminent domain issues on the border. And the money is better used elsewhere. If the wall is $50 billion, you could use that money to give just about every American broadband. Well, I am totally troubled by uh, Mr. Flynn's actions, General Flynn's actions throughout, and this just makes things even worse. And I think there needs to be, both on the executive side and on the legislative side, a thorough investigation, and they should take it where it leads. These are extremely, extremely troubling uh, allegations today.